in this video I'm going to show you how to find the coordinates of a turning point. So in this example we've been given the sketch of a curve and also two points on that curve. So we know where the curve crosses the y-axis, it crosses at 0 minus 5 and we also know where it crosses the x-axis here at 5, 0. We've also been given the equation of this curve y equals x squared plus ax plus b. So it's not really complete because we don't know what these values are, a and b. Before you can find the turning point, we need to know what the real equation is first. So to work out what these values are, a and b, I'm going to start by substituting in the coordinates given in the question. So I'm going to start with these ones over here. Although it doesn't really matter if you were to choose these ones, you'll end up with the correct answer either way. Remember, x is the first value and y is the second. So when I substitute those numbers into this equation, it becomes minus 5 equals 0 squared plus a multiplied by 0 plus b. Now, maybe you can see we can simplify this already. 0 squared is just 0. And a multiplied by 0 is just 0, because whenever you multiply something by 0, the answer is 0. So we have minus 5 equals b, okay, because those have disappeared. So we've already worked out the value of b. We know what this part of the equation is. So to work out the value a, the only thing I can really do next is to substitute these coordinates into the equation. So remember, x is the first number y is the second. So this time when I substitute those two numbers into this equation I get 0 equals instead of x squared I've got 5 squared then I've got a multiplied by 5 and instead of writing plus b this time we can substitute in the real value of b which is minus 5. Okay so all I've done is I've changed the y value to 0 and the x values to 5, okay? So again, we're going to simplify this equation. 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. a times 5 is just 5a. And then we need to solve this equation to find a. So to find out what a is, I'm going to move these two numbers over to the left-hand side of the equation. So remember, when something moves across the equal sign, it changes sign. So this positive 25 becomes negative, and this negative 5 becomes positive. So we have minus 25 plus 5 equals positive 5a. Now, minus 25 plus 5 is minus 20, and we've still got 5a on the other side. So to find a, instead of multiplying by 5, we have to do the reverse. We have to divide both sides of the equation by 5. So minus 20 divided by 5 is minus 4. And 5 divided by 5 is just 1. So we've got 1a. And we've worked out the value of a. So we've got b up here, minus 5. And a down here, minus 4. So if we substitute those numbers into the equation we now have the real equation of the curve. Okay, oh, I've done a mistake there. That's meant to be an x. Okay, so I just changed a to minus four and b to minus five. So here is the equation of our sketch. Okay, so we've got the equation of our curve, y equals x squared minus 4x minus 5. Next, we have to work out the coordinates of the turning point. So when I say find the turning point, we're working out the coordinates of this point here, the minimum point on the curve. Now, in order to work out the coordinates, we need to work out what the gradient of the curve is, okay? We need to differentiate the curve because at the minimum point, at the turning point of this curve, the gradient is equal to zero, okay? You should be able to see here the gradient's negative, then at the bottom 
it's stationary so the gradient is zero and then the gradient is positive okay so it's always changing on a curve so if you don't know how to differentiate and work out the gradient of a curve I do suggest you have a look at my other video on differentiation to practice that first so when we work out the derivative dy by dx of this equation we get 2x minus 4 Remember, you need to multiply this power by the number that's directly in front of x. In this case, there's a 1. We just don't normally write 1x. We just leave it as x. So 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. The power here decreases by 1. So 2 take away 1 is 1. And again, we don't normally write to the power of 1. We just leave it like this. Here, when we differentiate this term, minus 4x, the power 1 here, when you multiply it by negative 4, gives you negative 4. And when you decrease this power by 1, you get 0. And because x to the power of 0 is just 1, 4 multiplied by 1 is just 4. And when you differentiate a constant, it just disappears, you get 0. So this is an expression for the gradient of our curve. Now, to work out the coordinates, remember I said the gradient is equal to 0. We need to put this gradient, this expression for our gradient, equal to zero. And then solve to find x. And that will give us the x-coordinate of that turning point. So hopefully you can see already what x is going to be. But I'll just explain how to solve this equation. Move the negative 4 over to the other side of the equation. So that you've got 2x equals 4. And then you can divide by 2 on both sides. So x is equal to 2. So we've got the x coordinate of our turning point. Now we just need to work out the value of y. So to work out the y value, you need to substitute your x coordinate back into the equation we found earlier. So you're going to change both these x values to the number 2. So the equation becomes y equals 2 squared minus 4 lots of 2 minus 5. Well, 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4. Minus 4 multiplied by 2 is minus 8. And here we've got minus 5. So if we subtract these values, 4 take away 8 is equal to negative 4. Take away another 5 and we've got negative 9. So we've got the coordinates of our turning point. x is equal to 2 y is equal to negative 9. So, there you go.